Well, good morning everybody. It's Saturday the 13th of May in 2017 and we've just got one week left until the Stirling Marathon. So we're back at Creighton Park once again. Um, we do park run every Saturday for the, the, the whole of the summer season. Um, winter season we have our beginners groups on a Saturday morning. Um, but it's good to do park run as a regular thing, I think, uh, you know, from spring through the autumn. Um, so today we're due to do a 10 mile run. Um, it'll be a few laps before park run. I think I should have time to get three laps in, which is three miles. Uh, we'll do the three miles uh, park run itself and then we'll do the other four after the park run. Um, it's pretty damp, miserable, rainy, um, but it's forecast to, to brighten up a little bit. Um, last month, uh, rather last week, uh, we did a 15 mile run. Um, the week before that was 20. Uh, the 20 mile run went much, much better than I could have expected. Um, but 15 mile last week wasn't so good. I got to about 12 miles and then kind of ran out of steam. And I couldn't quite figure out what was wrong. However, after the event, um, I realised that I hadn't actually had anything to eat that day, that morning. Um, and I, I think to go out in 15 miles on an empty stomach was probably not the smartest thing in the world. Um, I'd had my gels, but, uh, you know, gels I give you about 90 calories uh, each. And I have one about every half hour. And yet every half hour you use about 350, 360 calories uh, when you're running. So... The, the gels don't actually maintain your, your energy reserves, all we do is stop it falling uh, too low. So I think that's all that went wrong last week. Uh, in, in between times, uh, we've had a, a few uh, 10k runs, including one where uh, I did the best time in over a year, so I was really pleased with that. I was just floating along, <coughs> um, so really pleased. Um, and we've done a couple of uh, 5 to 7k kind of runs as well. So, um, with a week to go to Stirling, I think we're, we're pretty much on schedule. Uh, the forecast uh, as of today uh, for Stirling is about 15 degrees uh, light cloud, which is, is almost perfect. But then that's what we said about Brighton uh, the morning, uh, sorry, the night before um, Brighton. Everything was perfect and there was going to be no excuses um, at that time. And it just uh, didn't work out that way at all. The weather was horrendous. Um, good. So we'll uh, head, head off, we'll do a few laps, do the park run, do another few laps, get the 10 miles uh, under our belt um, and we'll let you know exactly how things went. So see you in a wee while. <laughs> That's uh, 10 miles done, uh, last of the, the long run, so I, I wouldn't really class that as a long run, I don't think, uh, I, I'm, I'm me jump length run these days. Um, so 10 miles, uh, just over an hour and a half, uh, kept up the, the, the 6 uh, kilometer 
sorry, six minute kilometres um, all the way through, and uh, so that that was just fine. Um, so, uh, Stirling Marathon a week tomorrow. Uh, we're well into the taper period now. Um, as I say, that's the last of the, the kind of long runs. Um, I'll, I think I'll do, it would be interesting to do a, a video uh, just about tapering. Um, you know, talking about the taper because I think it's widely misunderstood what the taper is all about and what you're trying to achieve in the taper period. Um, I think that would be interesting for, for, for some people. Um, so what is my taper for the rest of the, the, the run up? So this is halfway through the two week uh, taper period. Um, it'll be largely 5k runs. Um, we did mostly 10k runs the last week. So it'll be mostly 5k runs this week, but I'll throw in a 10k on Friday, probably, maybe Thursday, um, just to, to kind of stretch the, the muscles and the cardiovascular system a little bit, uh, so they don't get into the idea that, you know, we're, we're, we're not going to do any uh, medium distances again. Um, so I think just having a, a 10k will kind of get them perked up again, and uh, we'll be in fine shape for for the Stirling Marathon one week tomorrow. So we'll let you know how things go and we'll do uh, the usual um, you know, prospects for the Stirling Marathon um, kind of the day before we, we head over to Stirling um, for the marathon itself. Okay, so we'll see you then. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you get notifications of all new content.